Hey guys, uh, we're just on the way to meet the guys from Vandering Around. They sent us a message as they're in Cornwall and wanted to meet up. Uh, quite a few months ago they gave us a message asking for some advice and we told them not to buy an LDV. So they went and bought an LDV anyway and we're going to go and check it out. Tom and Sophia and this is our LDV Convoy converted camper. Um, let's take the tour inside. Um, basically this used to be a disabled minibus and we ripped out all of the seats and started from scratch again and put down a wooden floor and we cladded all the sides of the walls. Um, it took a long time to get the shape right. Um, we also fitted up here we fitted the skylight which was actually off an old boat and that opens all the way up, giving you full air and light for when you need it. Um, we basically also installed these LED lights, um, which all run off these switches um, all around the van, the front and back. Um, we also whitewashed our ceiling because we felt it would give it a bit more of a sort of open air, more, more light getting in, which is something we really wanted in the van. Our spice racks um, and coffee and tea jars, they were all um, made out of, sort of leftover bits of pallet wood and leftover builder's wood that we put together and Sophia made all the little straps um, herself which uh, so far uh, nothing's fallen out so that's quite good. Um, our tiles that we got for the back, we bought the, brought them back from Spain and um, we took them all the way back home on the plane and we weren't sure how many to get so we just grabbed 15 of them um, and in the end we ended up using 11 um, so it's always good to have a spare of them. Um, the copper sink is one of our favourite touches, uh, it's an old jam pan, it's actually Sophia's uh, grandma's old jam pan from France so that's very sentimental to us um, and our tap is literally a little switch around the side that you Flick on, and that's our water. Um, our water tank actually runs from, if I can move this, <laughs> runs from a little 25 litre tank underneath, which we pull out and fill up with water when we need it. Um, the rest of the kitchen supplies are all underneath um, the usual pots and pans, and chopping board, and everything else for cleaning. Um, all the doors were made out of pallet wood, so they're not the straightest of things, they're a bit wonky, um, but we made them look nice, so that's the main thing really. Uh, in the middle cupboard is our food cupboard, um, with all these baskets that don't quite fit, but they do for now. Um, and this bit was here was made out of an old pallet that we cut down and fits bottles perfectly so it's a good little wine. Designed for wine. Designed for wine, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and down there's our gas bottle as well which runs up to our two ring hob which um, yeah it worked pretty well. Uh, we were, were going to have a camping stove but we just figured it was quite nice to have a fixed one in here. And if we did want to do cooking outside, we'd probably do it on a barbecue or something. We got the hob imported from Italy, so we've got a lot of things in the van which are from all over the place, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, so that was from Italy, that was from France, these were from Spain, so it's a multicultural kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> um, over here we have our bed, which is almost a double, full double bed, but we're about 10 centimetres off at the end, so we do have to sleep sort of diagonally along the end, which uh, isn't the worst thing in the world, but we live with it. Uh, these are our push drawers, um, which don't really stay open when you slam on the brakes, which is something we have to fix, as the bottom one already has broken. Um, so yeah, that'll be a design to do in the future. Um, over this side, we've got a little cupboard which <laughs> is just crammed full of clothes and to the right of that is all of our electric panels and 
inverter and everything which uh, runs off solar and a split charge system. Um, it works quite well to be honest, uh, we rarely ever run out of power and um, I think it should last quite a long time really. Um, <sighs> the main obvious feature is our wood burner which is basically the main focus point of the whole van. Um, sadly we haven't actually used it much because it's been such a heat wave in England at the moment. Um, we've barely had the chance to use it. So we're hoping for some colder weather to try and get it on a bit more. Uh, when we have had it on though we found out it got really hot um, and we actually ended up cracking our slate underneath which we're a bit sad about but um, replaceable um, and we think we've come found out the issue of it overheating so that's good. The fireproof board beside it is actually covered with an old bit of filing cabinet that I ground all the paint off and basically heat torched all over it and that's giving it a really cool rainbow effect on the side. Um, up here we've got our uh, switch panel which I sort of made myself out of uh, an old sheet of copper um, and that was an old voltmeter out of a mini. Basically all of these switches they do all the various things uh, around the fan. Uh, that one was the fridge. Talking of the fridge, it's down here in this last cupboard. It's um, a Waco fridge. Um, well, Dometic Waco, same brand. But um, it runs really good, um, keeps everything really cold and hardly uses any power, so we're quite impressed with that. Um, one of our best features of the van. Um, got our little cutlery drawers, which were, aren't the best thing, they're a bit wobbly and uh, shaky, but they do the job and they look nice, so that's the main thing. Um, we'll go around, have a look around the back. Basically try to make as much storage under the bed as we can. Um, managed to fit a bike in which I'm really happy about because I get to carry my bike everywhere. But the only problem is I have to dismantle it every time I get it in and out but at least I can take it with me. Um, also under here, under all the boxes, we've got our double batteries. They basically power everything and the one at the front's run off a split charge and the one at the back's run off the solar panel, which is a 200 watt solar panel and it does pretty well. And when one drops in voltage, we just have a little switch and you switch it from one to the other and we have full power again. So we never really run out and we can charge things like phones, laptops, everything you need really. Um, so that's all keeps us going. Um, up here we've got some little wine boxes that we uh, got from an old lady. Um, we just keep all our tat in there. Um, what else have we got? A little wood, wood storage for our log burner. It's just basically where we throw everything in and uh, yeah it's like our little garage really. Uh, up here we've got a nice little deer antler that um, was laying in my dad's shed for a while and basically turned it into a little handle open and shut the door. Uh, this was made out of driftwood, just a little net for uh, putting your phone in at night and things like that. And um, as you've probably seen already, the gin bottles that we've turned into uh, fairy lights at night, which are good for reading, really. They, uh, they give a nice warm feeling to the van. Um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> so along with all our herbs and spices, we also have our little herb garden. As you can see, they're not doing too well. With the change of heat in the van, they're not very good, so I don't think they'll last very much longer. But we can enjoy them while we're here. Another feature we have is over here is we were in um, Australia last year and that's where we actually built our first van. So this is our second van conversion. Over there it was a tiny little van. But as a memorabilia from that, we actually have the number plate from there. So that's a special little something we could keep in the van to remember of the first one we did. Um, another thing to 
mention is our driftwood wall. Um, Tom's from the Isle of Skye and that's where we actually built the van. Um, while we were doing that we went for a, a walk on the beach and we collected all this driftwood up to make the wall. So that's quite a nice memory. Except it was not a very good memory because we walked two miles down to this beach and we had to carry like a massive basket full of wood two miles back to the car. So that's a good story to tell. Um, another thing we have is our pipeline sign. That's another um, sentimental thing to us in the van because we actually met in New Zealand and that was the sign on the door of the hostel where we met. That place got demolished when we were last there so we went and took the sign to put in the van.